Hey friends, today I want to talk about a new C Sharp 11 feature once again, and this time is auto default structs. Okay, the name may be confusing, but we'll be going to the source code and look into what it is, what it's solving, and why we need it. Okay, to do that, let's use C Sharp 10 and .NET 6, and then we will eventually move into C Sharp 11 and see how that is different, okay? And to do that, I will be writing some tests using XUnit as I used to do. So let's start by going here into the source code. I have here my XUnit tests and let's do the following. Let's create a, a struct that will represent the position of a player in a game, something like that. So what I want is to be able to define a player position. Uh, first, let's say that is using struct fields, okay? Okay, so let's write some code about how we expect to use this thing. So we will have something like, we have a player and we are defining the position of that player. So we'll create a player position and on that case, we want to use our struct field. So I will be assigning something like X position 10, Y position 20, something like this. So now we have this, let's just assert that our player position dot X should be 10 and Y should be 20. Okay, obviously this doesn't compile, so let's create the source code for that. Okay, our struct will be player position, and we have a public int x and a public int y. Perfect. Now if we run our tests, everything should go fine, and it's green as you can see. So what does that mean is that now we are assigning uh, these variables into here, but we have another option. For example, let's say, let's just copy this one. And this time I want to define the player position, but not using struct fields. I want to use constructor. So what does that mean is that I want to provide here the X coordinate and here the Y coordinate. And I will not assign the fields directly anymore, but the result should be the same. So what does this mean is that for this code to compile, we need to bring here a constructor. And this constructor will need to receive some positions, right? But let's look just into a small thing. If you look now, when I define the default constructor without arguments, is telling me that X and Y must be assigned before we exit. So let's say here that we receive an X and here an Y. And now X should be equal to X, Y should be equal to Y. I have here a small mistake, it should be lowercase. And boom, let's run the test again. Okay. And this time, everything is fine. I have two different ways to assign the values of X and Y. As you know, I can impose some rules, for example, in, in this uh, constructor, okay? And I can do something like, let's say that I want to just set the Y if X is greater than zero, okay? Somehow that's, that's my rule. So, if x is greater than zero, I would assign this thing. Now what is happening is that the compiler will be telling me that y must be assigned upon exit, right? So it's here that you will see the value of the new feature, okay? Why? Because on this case, I would need to do something like else y equal to something okay, let's say zero that's an option or i would need to assign always to the same value whatever and besides that a different thing could happen for example 
let's say that I have this like this, perfect. But now my player position has, um, has three dimensions. So I would need to define not only an X and an Y, but also a Z. What this would mean is that on this constructor, now I need to assign a value to Z. But I don't want to change this signature because otherwise I will need to change a lot of code, it will be a breaking change, something like that. But since it's a, an integer, why C sharp doesn't assign it directly to zero? That is what auto default structures will be doing for us. So while this code can't compile anymore, let's just run a build for showing you that. If we upgrade to C sharp 11, as you can see here in the suggestion, we'll use the auto default structures. So let's just upgrade it. We go to the CS proj, edit it, and our language version, let's force it to be review. So we will use C sharp 11 at the time. And since we are using now C sharp 11, if we compile, what it'll tell you is now it's, it's a warning instead of an error. Why? Because now what C Sharp will be doing for us is that every single time that you don't assign a given field in the constructor, it will prepend the constructor body with an initialization to the default value. So basically what C Sharp is doing is something along the following lines. So now Z will be equal to the default. This will also happen to booleans and floats whatever you you get it so now i know that this one is always assigned in the constructor so it will remove and simplify a, a lot of code and will facilitate the maintainability of this code you may be asking yourself why this is even a problem at all and let me just try to explain you what would happen if c sharp didn't have this this thing in place. If C sharp didn't force you in C sharp 10 to set all the fields, or if we remove that requirement and we didn't introduce auto default structs. So let's pick this example here and let's use it. So imagine that you have this, your player position is a new player position and you are setting it to 10. And now you would go to the same variable and you say just new player position, okay? What do you expect to happen on this case? You expect that when you run this, the, the test, this x should be now zero because you, and, and the epsilon as well, because you, you are setting it to a new player position, right? But in the way that structures work, if we don't have mechanisms in place to set those fields again to, to the default value, what will happen is that you run this test and this will be 10 once again and 20 once again, because they were assigned here and this thing didn't force those fields to be reinitialized as zero. Okay, this is one of the things that will happen if we didn't enforce those kind of policies. This is all about auto default structs. I hope that you understand why it's important. I hope that you understand the importance of playing around with these kind of features and give feedback. So I will see you soon. And in the meanwhile, just keep things simple.